Hi, we all know what global warming and climate change are, right? Does global warming mean that the Earth is warming up? But if the Earth is warming up, then why do we have colder and longer winters in some places? And even snow in places that we do not expect any snow? Is this some kind of conspiracy? Why do some people believe in global warming and others don't? Also, didn't we have such global warming events in the past? Then what's another global warming? Why the excitement about this one? From the 1880s, the Earth's average temperature increased by just a little more than one degree Celsius. One degree Celsius, that's all. Bangkok's average temperature in 1955 was 27 degrees Celsius and its average temperature in 2020 was slightly over 29 degrees Celsius. Therefore, Bangkok's average temperature has risen by almost two and a half degrees Celsius in 65 years. Well, Bangkok is still here and Bangkokians are still here. So again, why the excitement about global warming? Moreover, don't we have more important things to worry about? such as the economy, unemployment, food shortages, water shortages, congestion, and so on. Well, let me tell you up front, you and everyone else have every reason to worry about global warming. Everything that you are, your dreams, your ambitions, your jobs, your loved ones, all will become meaningless if we do not address the current global warming and the climate crisis that is now upon us. Hence, this course is designed to give you a basic but a clearer understanding of global warming and climate change. You will learn about the causes and consequences of global warming and the climate crisis. You will acknowledge the significance and severity of our past and ongoing activities that have resulted in our current state of affairs. Finally, you will gain some insight into the measures and potential measures for adapting to global warming and mitigating the climate crisis. So again, who is this cause for? Whomsoever confused by the excess information we have in various media, not knowing what are facts, what are fakes. Students, teachers and all who wish to have a simplified explanation of global warming and the climate crisis. Policy makers and decision makers wanting to ensure their policies and decisions elevate the issues and not aggravate them. Essentially, this cause is for everyone. Only through acknowledging and understanding the issues can we expect to find the solutions.